Welcome to class today. My name is Jahan. Today we'll be guiding you on a lower back yoga practice that's going to promote healthier and deeper sleep, uh, spinal health. Uh, and when you sleep deeper, keep in mind that your hormonal system is, is balanced. Two hormones like leptin and ghrelin that help with satiation and hunger um, cannot be balanced, cannot be neutralized without proper sleep. Mood, instability, irritability, uh, likability are all affected by sleep. So overall, we know that that's one of the best ways to improve your immunity. So we're gonna focus on our lower backs today. Holding posture is gonna grab two blocks. I have two blankets and my strap. Let's begin on our back. And while we come onto our back, please do me a favor. <clears throat> if you're watching at home, hit the like button on the YouTube subscribe and subscribe. Turn on notifications or not if you want. Come onto your back. This is a 30 minute class and it is for all levels. Feet or hip width distance, arms out to a T. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingers together. Dominant or subdominant, your call. And press the palms, the light color part of your hands, into the ceiling or up to the ceiling rather. And if you can, you can start your workouts right now if you're looking at your watch. Then bring your arms down by your side. And then take the subdominant crossing. So for me, it was first it was right on top of left. Now I'm gonna go left on top of right, play with it, and then stretch up. The thing is just to get equal stretches on both, an equal stretch on both the left and the right palm. play with bringing the arms up over your head as well and slowly release the arms down by your side begin to windshield wipe the legs this is already stretching out the quadratus lumbarum which are also known as QLs I'm placing my hands on the lower back there are all the large side muscles right next to the spine and above the glutes and if you're a side sleeper Say, I at home if you're a side sleeper. Well, well, then we need to take care of your QLs. Cross your ankles, knees up to the shoulders. This month, I'll be uh, reading and studying from a book called Yoga for Arthritis. In short, you know, arthritis is known as joint inflammation, which causes restriction and limited range of use. Well, yoga scientifically is proven to increase range of use. So it's the perfect yin and yang. And then bring your knees out to the sidelines of your mat, bring them back in, out, and then so you're just taking external rotators here. There it goes external, I'll be going the other direction. I made a boobo, so externals coming in towards the head, 12. I'm bringing these in and then up towards my chin and then out to so left external. One more time here. Pause. Now take the knees down towards the, keep your hands on knees, take the hand, the, the feet towards the bottom of the top of the mat and then internally rotate. So the pushing down away. So just think of internally squeezing the inner thighs in. One more time. Soft breath. Speak down, arms to a T. You can now get butterfly your legs out by bringing the knees wide and the feet to touch. Take a moment, set your intention. And at this point, you're welcome to come into your intentional breathing, whether it's ujjayi, which is inhaling in and out through the nose, or samavriti, which means you're inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth, perhaps, for equal counts. I prefer samavriti over ujjayi, and that's because my nostrils um, Need some opening. And Ayurveda is great for that. Knees into the chest. This time just rock side to side. Take a half happy baby with the hands behind your knees, or you could straighten the legs and place the hands to the inner thighs. You keep a bend in your knees, and that's still fine. From here, we'll transition to cat and cow. And again, if you're, if you're watching at home on YouTube, 
hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on the notifications if you'd like. There's maybe two videos a week here. Tips for health, wealth, spirituality, yoga, Ayurveda, cat and cow, spinal extension, and spinal flexion. Now, I've done some research on what doctors are recommending for lower back. And most doctors, whether they're physical therapists, chiropractors, or MDs will recommend spinal flexion and extension. And what I find about cat and cow, it's one of the safest. Forward folds, not necessarily gonna be the safest, especially if you're carrying a little bit of weight like me or have lower back issues like me, tightness in the glutes. And that's because too much of a, oftentimes people force the forward fold, which cause, can cause a disc bulge. I've had several MRIs in my lower back and I'm, yoga has really worked. Now this one is, um, it was actually, um, it's called, I call it around the world. Another one of my instructors called this sexy asana. I guess because he, he, he can't keep his eyes on his own mat. But <laughs> I know a lot of girls that can't keep their eyes on their own mat too. <laughs> like you, Kathy. <laughs> She's like, yep, that's me. It's okay. Tune your energy within, withdraw from the senses. Right now, it's about your mind and your body. One more time to the right and then pause to the top and then to the left. Again, steady the breath. Yeah, one more time at home. Notice that here I'm gonna grab this blanket, place it towards the back of the mat, the heels, for my heels so I can really have a comforting down dog. When you're ready, parallel your index fingers so that they're making a goal post like a soccer or a football field. Index or parallel, that's going to help with the tighter chest. Use blocks if you'd like. I do prefer blocks in my practice. I find it's better for my body, for a stiffer body. Curl the toes under and downward facing dog with, the, with or without your props. Now with the props here, my heels are touching down to the mat and I can really ricochet. I can push off the blocks and lift my hips to the sky all the while softening my shoulders. And this is really hard to do without the props for me. Downward dog has a lot going on, almost too much to really focus on the lower back. So this is just an isolation tool that, that you can use here. Keep lifting the pelvis up towards the ceiling, softening the shoulders and taking the outer upper arms, like the triceps, rotate the biceps forward. It's almost like the underarms are framing the ears. Just don't want any pain in the shoulders. That's the most important thing. Soften the neck away from the ears. Keep lifting. Some people like to walk their dog, just dynamically warming up the legs. So let's walk the hands back and the feet up so that they meet halfway. I'm gonna keep my hands on the block here and you can do that at home too. First things first, bend the knees. Forget about all those flexy, sexy, Thin yoga girls, they can really lock out their knees and come into this beautiful forward fold. If that's where you're at, that's fine. And if you're sexy and flexy, hey, you work for it. But for the majority of the world, you know, we're 72% of us are overweight, carrying a little bit of weight or obese. We need to be careful with the lower back. So that's the majority of us already. But if you've got it, hey, flaunt it, you work for it. Help us out. <laughs> And now we're working on lower back, so take the twist to the right, using blocks, soften the shoulders, and you could put a small bend, a deeper bend into your left knee, a twist to your left, a deeper bend into your right knee. You can already feel we're going right at that lower back, the quadratus lumbar. And this time I'm gonna walk right, I'm gonna walk left, right and left, keep doing that, or you could take ragdoll. And if you're at home, hit the like button, keep breathing here. See who's in class today. Welcome, Carla, Rashida, Demi. Born is there. Am I recording? Yes, we are recording. Born, I'll make you the host. All right, Born is the host. Beautiful. And then slowly inhale, begin to rise up for four, three, two, one. I realize we're short on time, so I'm going to have you step to the Top of your mat, feet are hip width distance. Let's just do it one or two sun Sundays, and then we'll go right into chair pose and sun So these are all modified for a shorter practice. 
Inhale, extend the mountain pose, even gazing up, exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, extended mountain pose, and exhale, bending the knees first, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips forward, fold. Notice the knees are still bent, they're not locking out, and I'm not rounding an upper back halfway lift, forward fold. Take two more of those on your own. Hands to your heart. And all the way up mountain pose. And to your heart, exhale. Mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Boring, if you can give me a thumbs up if audio and video are good. And then step to downward dog when you're ready. Inhale the right leg to the sky. And exhale, low lunge, plant the right foot in between your palms. Drop the left knee down. And this is where you can also grab another blanket. Or you can fold your mat in half. Some people even have a second mat running underneath. But I'm just gonna put this blanket here. If you have a really good mat, it's not needed, but most people are not using a, a high-end pro mat. And you eventually will get there, the benefit's great. Using your blocks, straighten your right leg, Walk the blocks forward about eight to 10 inches and then walk them back as you dynamically rock forward and back into what's called half splits. Hanumanasana, Hanumanasana, monkey god. Steady breath. One more time and hold here. You can also pick up your heel. Try not to lock out the knee. Keep the quadricep activated. A lot of times people, a lot of times people here, excuse me, will not keep the quadricep engaged. So you want to make sure your quadricep is not lazy. You always want to keep the quadricep engaged. And the way to do that is really just try to think of lifting the quadricep up towards the waistline. And reach the chest forward and take the fold. Here for about 20 seconds. So three breaths, three to four breaths. Not longer. When the hamstrings are tight, the lower back will get aggravated. That's a big reason for going into the hamstring. And if you do have lower back problems, this hamstring stretch three times a day, 30 seconds to 60 seconds each, each cycle would be great for you. With the chest lifting. Slowly begin to slide the heel back. Here, I'm gonna move the blocks. Low crescent lunge, layer one hand to your thigh is one of my favorite ways. Or layer two hands up to the sky. A little piece of hands down to the thighs. And soften the chest. Keep the hips engaged, draw the tailbone down, option to gaze up. Inhale the hands up, exhale back bend. Cactus out the arms, inhale your hands up, and exhale step to downward dog. Keep lifting the tailbone up, softening the shoulders. Pressing down to the heels as much as you can, but bending the knees is perfectly fine. Steady the breath. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, step through the low lunge. Feet are hip width distance from stability. You want to avoid that tight rope. Lift your blocks, lift your chest. Protect your right, bottom right knee. Extend the left leg forward, and we're going to rock back and forth into it. And the reason that we're rocking back and forth to it, I hope you can see me in the shot here at home. Good. You're doing good. I uh, think you're following along. I hope you are. Welcome to the channel. Hit like, subscribe, and find us on Instagram. You know, stuff. But the reason that we're doing this dynamically is that most of us are going to be pretty tight in the lower back. The more cooked food you're eating at home, the more, uh, again, just the more cooked food 
the more infl body inflammation you will trigger. So how do you avoid uh, excess inflammation? Well, avoid excess cooked food. So that's bringing in more fruits and vegetables into your, into your lifestyle. And you can do that with um, smoothies as well, if you don't like to, to chew all that. But I find that chewing secretes saliva, which, which helps with satiation. So, oops, I missed it. Straighten the left leg here. Keep the quadricep engaged by pulling it up towards the quadricep, even up to the knee. We're engaged. Excuse me, I heard some chirping sounds. I think Demi's mic got unmuted somehow. <laughs> and then lift the chest and come down halfway. I'm not really using a reference monitor today, so I hope you can see me in the shot. Hope it sounds good. So again, we're gonna be here for about four breaths. Lift the chest and come down halfway. To use blocks. Today, you can see if I got my forearms can get there. I can get there with the forearms, but then over rounding from the upper back. So just come back onto the palms if that's where you're at, like me. Try to keep the spine nice, long, avoid the over rounding, rather lift with the chest. Two more breaths. Shoulders back and to the sides. One more breath. Good. Curl the back toes. Slide the heel back. Actually, you can uncurl the back toes. Recall that cue. Inhale, low crescent moon. Layer one. It's palms down to the thigh. Layer two, palms up. Take a breath in. And then if you want to join us from the back bend, just by cactusing the arms, keeping the core engaged, draw the tailbone down. Inhale, low crescent. So downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. I want to give a shout out to all my viewers and fans in India. I have <laughs> a lot of fans in India for some of the videos I made in India of, of the spice market and butter chicken. So appreciate all of you in, in, uh, in India. Hit like, subscribe, and uh, Jay Bharat, which means go India. And praise India. All right. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, spiral the back, heel down, rise, Vira Badrasana to warrior two. And before you rise, you may want to place a block to the outside of the right foot. Align your front heel to your back arch. So you have a heel, arch, and ball of the foot. Think of the foot as three main sections. Heel, the back, arch, middle, ball. Line heel to arch. Spread the arms, gaze forward. Not going to be here too long. Focus is on the lower back. Straighten the front leg. Shift the hips towards the back of your mat. Arms forward. Now, because we're going to be in Trikonasana, Utika, tri, Utita Trikonasana, I'm going to use two blocks. Lined up to about the mid, mid leg, middle of my calf. And come into your tree pose. Stack in the shoulders. Beautiful stretch on the QLs, quadratus lumbarum. Hope you can feel it. If you feel the big stretch on your lower back, say, I. Say, good. Say, yes, yes. And soften the breath. It's going to be here for a lot longer than you think. I hear someone's microphone coming in. I wonder who it is. Zoom bombers. Two more breaths. And let's counter that with the reverse triangle, keeping the legs pushed down through the ball of the front foot and switch the arms. Just gonna fix my pants here. More about uh, a weight loss. I don't like to call them challenges, but a weight loss goal uh, coming up. I have 30 days to my 39th birthday. And I'm setting the goal of losing 10 pounds over the next 30 days by eating a ton of veggies. So that, if there were a name for this challenge, it's called ton of veggies. If in the South, we'd say ship ton of veggies, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, all that stuff. Because we're short on time, it's going to come right into downward dog. Oh. 
hold the down dog, which is also very important for that lower back. To bend your knees a few times if you'd like. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale. Step it forward. Seal the back heel down. Front heel to back arch alignment. Make sure the back toes are ahead of the heel. So they're in a race together. It's a photo finish between the toes over the heels. Warrior two. Block is ready for you. Shift forward. And Utita Trikonasana. And welcome to use your blocks here. I think we have about 10 minutes. My timer has not gone off. Born, unmute Demi, please, because I'm getting no reference here and I got something from my computer. I don't know if I can hear. So if you guys, it looks like everyone's fine. Stay in triangle. Demi, can you give me a thumbs up of audio of it here, good? Staying in triangle. A thumbs up, not a shake of the head. Thank you, okay. Left side triangle pose. Because I'm no longer the host, born as a host, so I, I don't have any reference here, but Demi's got a lot of birds over there, so. Left side, couple more rounds of breathing. To remind myself after class to to keep this left side for myself. I don't want to be unbalanced. Pushing down to the ball of the left foot. If you're balanced here, hopefully you are. Reverse the triangle. And make your way back into downward facing dog. Drop to your knees. Balasana, child's pose. Since you have the blocks, you feel free to use the blocks in your child's pose as well. Sinking the hips back, dropping the shoulders. Try to get your glutes back to your heels. Inhale, come up to a tabletop. I'll keep using the blocks here. Tell me you don't necessarily need them, but I do prefer them. Walk both blocks at a shoulder width distance towards your left and sink the right shoulder back towards your right hip point. And then not use the block of the slippery there, but. Big shoulder and chest stretch. Switching sides, coming back to center on the inhale breath. Notice the block slips on the floor side, so get rid of it there. And then other side. Have a seat. If your knees are higher than your hips, use a blanket. And since I have two blankets, I might experiment at home with just stacking the blankets. I have no reference, so if someone can give me a reference, that would be great audio and video. Tech should be working at home, but is that you, Born? Or Demi? Okay. I'm here. Okay, thank you, Born. <laughs> Inhale your hands up. Yeah, just always good to have Demi or Born unmuted. Just gotta watch Demi's bird, birds. And let's see, take your left hand to your glute line. Place it down and reach the right hand up and over. You could layer one, stay here, or layer two, take your left hand and reach it across. Keep both sit bones down and keep reaching down. Now, the right hip point and the right knee are going to want to come up. You have to mindfully keep them down. Another layer three is just reaching like this. I think this is right out of a doctor's class. Back to center. Whew. I'll get right into the QL. Demi, do you really feel that in the QL? Yeah, it feels good. It feels good, right? That's good. Yeah, I like teaching online, guys, but I do need reference. I find that 
it's kind of like the reason why comedians, you know, it's harder to do without an audience. You still, have, you still, even if you're doing a show, that audience makes a difference. And then you could take layer one, two, or the three. And then back to center. Exhale, hands to your heart. My timer is done. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. It's a simple fold. Keep your chest lifting. Did, me, did you just like kill all your birds or something? They just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and exhale. Have a seat. In this case, I'm going to remove the, the, the blankets and come all the way down onto your prone position, onto your abdomen and set up your Sphinx pose. It's our back bend of class today. And Demi, please help me here. Feel free to chime in. Uh, forearms are parallel and mm -hmm. obviously shoulder width distance, pressing through the inner forearm. Again, fingers are parallel. Now here, lift the chest. And we have this, in my body, we have this, have you ever found, I feel like here I just let my belly hang out. But when I mm -hmm. activate my core just a little bit, when I activate the core a little bit, I'm able to get out of my lower back and feel more of the sensation and more engagement in my upper back or the thoracic. Do you feel the same thing? Yeah, you're not supposed to let your belly hang out. You're supposed to lift well, it up, even pull the hip, the ribs up, and then widen the shoulders and pull the mat with your forearms. And your legs are engaged. For me, it's an active pose. I mean, you, you can relax in there, but... Mm -hmm. me, so, yeah, I, 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 so obviously, yeah, she's right. And, and I'm using is the teaching to our teaching style is a little bit different. But when you relax the belly, you lose the posture. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're not supposed to relax the belly, keep the core mm -hmm. engaged. And if you can take the tailbone and the flesh of the glutes down towards the heels. So you're yes. also lengthening and pressing down through your legs, softening the shoulders and trapezius upper neck muscles from the ears. And slowly relax. Come on to double stack forearms. Let me check my time. Okay, almost out of time. Breath in and breath out. Flip around 180 degrees and let's get right into bridge pose. And today I use uh, bridge pose with the blankets. Are those wind chimes, Demi? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's on fire. So placing the blankets underneath your lower back. Some instructors teach to place blocks underneath the back. I don't think those instructors have ever had lower back problems or ever gone in for an MRI. Look at the size of a block and it's firm. I think bolsters and blankets are so much better. Don't you agree, Demi? Blanket, unless um, it's a super soft block. Just agree with yeah, me for videos blocks. because we're short on time. Yeah, just agree the with me. The blocks are good. <laughs> okay. And you can also take an active bridge reaching underneath the mat or robot arms or interlacing underneath your lower back. I love pulling the mat apart here. It's a great stretch for tennis elbow. It's a great stretch for your biceps by pulling your mat apart. If you've never been in, try it now. Keep the outer legs into the inner legs. So internal rotation, press down through the big toe, lift the hips higher, reach the flesh down towards the back of the knee, and release, remove. And show up for the legs. And if you're at home, consider taking any of these stretches after class, your favorite one. So we're gonna go for thread the needle on your back or what's called half pigeon on your back. So take the right heel over the left knee and you can use a strap here or hug the left knee back into the left shoulder. If you have those blankets, you can also put the blankets at the back of your head. This is great for the lower back but you're also opening up into the piriformis muscle and relieving symptoms of sciatic. Another breath in and slowly release both knees into the chest. And switch. If you're at home and you happen to be, I've had several uh, physical therapists come to my class and doctors and physicians and I'm always humbled and honored by that. But if you're a medical professional at home or especially a PT, I'm always curious about is this, what's the size of the pillow 
or head support that we should be using. What's the proper height? You know, most gears should be using one blanket, two or one. And does that cause disruption? Obviously you can use two, three, four, five blankets, but does that cause disruption in the cervical spine? Does that make sense to me? You can use as many blankets as you want, but what, at what cost? Right here in this puzzle when you sleep. I couldn't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Knees to your chest. Whose dog's barking? Is that your neighbor? I guess. Okay. Sorry. We'll mute Demi now, Lauren. That's all right. No, it's fun. Happy baby. I'm not saying like I'm mad. Is that your neighbor? I'm mad. No, it's, you can't control it. You know, the only teachers you can't control. Totally cool. No problem. No problem. Cowabunga. Hakuna Matata. Woosa. <laughs> wow. Knees into your chest. Now, lower back is also related to the front of the hips. Big hip width distance. Take the left heel over the right, and without moving this bottom heel, just drop it so your left knee comes either to the floor or a block. Arms to the gaze to the right. Don't keep your hair too long. Breath in and breath out. Coming back to center, get that block and switch sides right here over the left knee. And drop the right knee down to your right and gaze to your left. Sometimes you get a nice pop here. Mm. Of course, keep the shoulders down. The breath. Oh, this feels wonderful. Feel the body softening, feel the shoulders and the chest melting, knees back to center. Take any other posture you'd like. Today I'm just gonna rock side to side, maybe a gentle happy baby. You can take shoulder sun or plow or fish pose. Plow would be pretty good for the lower back if you wanted to as well. Knees into your chest, hold, breath in. And a breath out, Shavasana, legs out wide, legs down long, or you can keep them bent. Deep in your breath. Allow peace, harmony, laughter, and love to enter all parts of your body yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, your vibrations. Let peace enter into your heart, joy and laughter into your face and cheeks, harmony into the cells, and love into every part of your being. So you're welcome to stay here for another five, 10, 15 minutes. Class is shorter classes, but when you're ready, circle the wrist and the ankles. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Lauren, we're going to go ahead and unmute everyone in just a second. Hands to your heart. Coming back to your intention. Is there anything that you're grateful, blessed for, or thankful for? Today I'm blessed to have you taking class i'm thankful to have my parents and i um i'm grateful to be alive and healthy <laughs> i can't stop from smiling mm -hmm. how are you feeling at home how's everyone doing everyone's mic is unmuted by the <laughs> way uh, i'll just throw in if you feel the class was of any value to you please feel to donate that value five ten twenty dollars to whatever you think was equivalent uh at the bare minimum you can go subscribe and also leave us a review on google that would be huge ella yoga leave us a review more information i'm coming up on the, on the veggie challenge on the 10 pound veggie challenge or goal and we have class again 11 a.m. with myself, Friday 11 a.m. with uh, Demi Lucas. Um, can't see you guys, so I'm going to say bye. I'm going to have a wonderful day. Thank and you. feel free to even take this class later on today. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.
Au revoir. <rire> Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, Catherine. Bonjour. Bon I'm still here, Demi. You're still there? I'm, I'm still um... here. I'm just curious. I'm still here. I'm, I'm still here too. I'm having my tea. <laughs> Less than a minute. Mm. Less than a minute. But but stand up and please let me know how your lower back is. Oh, it's good. I, I feel good. I want more. I want more and more, which is good, I guess. It's a good sense. It's a good thing to want. 